Hey all, Chase here from Entopology. Today I just want to very briefly go over the fractal infill block located at the bottom of our FDM fixture generator tool made in collaboration with Stratasys. You'll notice the block is available at the bottom of the tool and it is marked beta. We, we did anticipate and have kept this as beta while enhancements are being made to the block. This block can take a fixture generated from the fixture and generator workflow and generate a fractal infill um, which we'll demonstrate in a second here on this part. So to demonstrate, I've just brought in some very simple parts, um, a sphere and then what is uh, thereby acting as a fixture for this sphere. So I can drag my sphere to the part input and my fixture to the fixture input and the block will automatically run. What we'll notice here is the other input available is this material type and there are some specific properties which we'll explore in a second here that are uh, will change with the type of material. So when I isolate this view I'll notice the fractal infill is complete and has been generated um, and the the important part here is to understand what the material has done. It is acting as a uh, resource to look up the um, bridging distance and uh, typical wall thicknesses for this type of material printed on a stratasys. So you'll notice this uh, wall thickness and rib thickness is a multiple of the toolpath. So when this is sliced and uh, toolpaths are generated for the FDM machines, it'll be precisely two, um, in this case for the ribs, two toolpaths each. The other property that is pulled is this bridging distance. So wherever the there is unsupported uh, material from this surface, there is a uh, essentially a maximum distance that can go unsupported and that property is pulled directly from the material type. If I change the material type here, you'll notice with a larger layer height and a, a thicker tool path, we'll generate a, a alternate um, fractal infill. So you can see in this case, the uh, infill is much thicker and the bridging distance allowed is much uh, larger as well. Lastly, I just want to demonstrate this on a uh, bit more complex of a part. Uh, in this case, not more, more complex of a part, but more complex of a uh, fractal infill um, type uh, here. So you'll notice that the uh, bridging distance is conformal to the shape. So wherever the shape um, le leads, there will be that minimum bridging distance and it will fracture based on that. So farther away from the part here, you can see the fracture, fracturing occurs uh, more rapidly towards the surface. And then um, in the case where the part is sticking down, you notice that the, the initial fracture is, is that size there. Um, so please, as I mentioned, this is a beta block. We are continuously improving in it, specifically to the time to uh, render the part after the, the block is generated. But if you guys have any feedback um, into what you'd like to see or maybe some other properties that you'd like us to pull out and make available to you, please let us know. We're always looking to improve the, uh, the part. Thanks for watching.